Aloha, it's Jim from Animal Ability. Today we're going to have a video on kettlebells for cardio conditioning. So we're going to start out with the swing, which is uh, probably the most valuable and easy to learn kettlebell exercise and one of the best ones for cardiovascular conditioning while maintaining your strength and endurance. So. I'm going to be using light kettlebells today. Um, I'm going to be using 20s. Occasionally when I'm doing this conditioning stuff, I would use 35s. I probably would never use more than 35s unless I was doing a every minute on the minute swing complex, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is the basic kettlebell swing. You're going to sit your kettlebell in front of you, step back from it feet pointing straight, hinge back, minimal knee bend, maximum hip bend, reach and grab the kettlebell, and when you grab it, it should tilt towards you if it's far enough away, and we're going to do a two-handed swing. You want to flex your lats a little bit, okay, that's with two hands. Now you can also do one hand. When you do one hand, you want to grab the thumb side corner of the bell handle. Hinge back. Switch. Hand to hand. Okay. That was the two handed swing, the one handed swing, and the hand to hand swing. Now, when you do, let's say you're going to do 10 minutes or 20 minutes, 15, whatever, of every minute on the minute. You just set your timer for however many minutes you want your total, but in one minute increments. And every time it beeps, you would usually do a, a set of 10 reps. That will give you approximately 45 seconds, uh, to, you know, somewhere between 45 and 47 seconds depending on how quickly you can do those 10 in good form, to rest before the clock beeps again and you would start. You would do your other 10, another 10. Ad nauseum until the time is up. Okay, so now we're gonna do a kettlebell high pull. Now, as with a barbell high pull, it is prepping you to do a snatch, a, a, an Olympic snatch, you can use the kettlebell high pull with a heavier weight also when you're training to be able to do a kettlebell snatch. Now we're, we're using it completely for cardio conditioning, so we would be using a lighter weight and it wouldn't be you know, preparatory to a snatch. So what you wanna do is start the same way. We're gonna use uh, two kettlebells first. So I'll put two in front of me. Hinge back. Now you can grab still the corner side of the handle so you're prepared to do any other movements that you want to work in. So it's a swing and as you get here you let the momentum and your shrug pull the weight up. So you let your arms bend Lead with your elbows as you would in a barbell high pull. So you let that lead and that's gonna um, work your snatch form so when you do a kettlebell snatch. Now we'll, you can do this one armed also. Switch. Okay, 
So now we're going to do the snatch, which is the same starting movement, but you're going to punch the weight overhead. I'll actually grab it in my right hand so you can see that angle, and then I'll do my left. Thumb side of the handle. Switch hands. Okay, that is your classic kettlebell snatch. You can also, <coughs> excuse me, you can also do it two handed. <coughs> okay, now we're going to do, I'm already getting winded just from doing that little bit of demo, demo work. So now we're going to do the clean and jerk. Now the reason we use a jerk is because even with a light weight, which you wouldn't have to jerk, you could just press, it's more metabolically active to jump, rebend, stand. That uses much more of your muscles throughout your whole body to achieve the movement. So you're using that. Since you're using cardio, you're doing cardio, and when you do this in a 10 minute block, or five minutes or whatever, uh, continuously, it's called a long cycle. So, we'll start with the two-handed. A clean is a swing, letting your elbows bend. So it's not the same thing as a barbell clean. Now you bend, jump, re-bend, stand. So full speed, it looks like this. Okay. Do that one handed. Switch hands. Now you could also do clean to reverse lunge. We'll start with two. Do the clean. Then whichever leg you want, you reverse lunge. If you want to alternate legs, you would do the other leg. And so on and so forth. Now you can do, if you do one kettlebell, you can, you can alternate legs, or you can do one side and then the other side. It all depends on your training goal and if you want cross stimulation in the muscles for stabilization purposes. So I'll show you both. So I'm gonna grab the bell. Clean it. Now, weights on this side. I want to use this leg because I do not want cross stimulation. So you would do that. You would clean, reverse lunge, clean, reverse lunge. Now, if I wanted cross stimulation for my stabilization muscles, I would clean and then step back with the same side leg that the weight's in. That gives you a little more balance challenge there. Now you can switch arms. You can do clean, 
same side leg back, clean opposite leg back, over and over and over. Then switch arms, or you can do two kettlebells and alternate legs. Doesn't really matter, except for your fine tuning training goals, that if you wanted to get something more than just the cardiovascular exercise out of this uh, kettlebell routine. Now you can use single exercises, all of these exercises I've shown you, and you can put them in um, combos. So you would do like a, and we'll do a, I'll show you with a single kettlebell, but now I'll show you with a double, double kettlebells. So what you want to do is, this is just an example. You can put it in any order. Um, usually it works better if you're doing your snatch, which is usually your hardest movement, especially with two kettlebells, to do that first. So you do rounds of combos. What I mean by that is you're going to do X number of reps of each movement for a complete round. However many movements is up to you. So we're going to do double snatch. Now, let's say we picked five and I just did five or even 10. Then we want to go to high pull. Okay, then we're gonna to go to clean and jerk. Now, clean and reverse lunge. And we'll just alternate legs. Now we're gonna do, and we did the number of reps there that we chose. And now we're gonna do a goblet squat. Or actually, uh, no, we're not gonna do that. Oh, we're gonna do the swing, double swing. Hard to remember when you're getting tired even showing it. So now, I wanna show you one more exercise I forgot. It's gonna be bottoms up goblet squat with halo. Bottoms up just means handles on the bottom and you're gonna squat, halo. Squat, halo the other direction. You can do all one direction or alternate directions. Now, you, would use, you could use that if you were doing a single kettlebell combo. Um, it'd be kind of hard to work into your combo if you were doing like double kettlebell work because then you'd have to sit one down. Okay, so that we covered a lot of basic kettlebell moves. We covered combos. Now I want to talk about um, blocks. All a block is is very similar to the Russian kettlebell competitions where you do one kettlebell, we're gonna use one because that's the type of conditioning we're doing here. Um, we don't wanna make it challenging um, weight-wise, we wanna make it challenging uh, cardiovascular-wise, breathing-wise. So, we're gonna do I'm just gonna give you a few reps of each, knowing that you would be setting your clock for four, two and a half minute. Uh, that would be a 10 minute block. If you wanted to go uh, longer, you would calculate out your intervals. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a snatch on one arm only for you know X, X amount of time and then the other arm X amount of time, and then you're gonna to go to a clean and jerk and do the same thing. So, handle side, snatch, 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 snatch. Switch arms, say it's two minutes, two and a half minutes, snatch, snatch, snatch. 
snatch. Two and a half minutes, peeps. Switch arms. Clean. Jerk. Clean. Jerk. We'll say it's been two and a half minutes. Switch arms. Okay. So when you're doing that, you want to try to count reps if possible. Maybe have somebody do it for you or just do the best you can. Now, if you cannot sit the bell down, that's the best way to do it. On the snatch, a good resting place could be at the top of the snatch. You just squeeze your glutes and you're kind of getting a working rest, an active rest. Now you also could hold it here in the top of the clean position, especially when you're doing the clean and jerk. That's a great place to rest. And if your elbow is down here close to your hip, you can even put your hip here. It's still active because you haven't set the weight down, so you're still supporting the weight with your body. You can also just rest at the top of the jerk too, just like you would with the snatch. Um, if you were doing snatches and you didn't want to sit down, but you couldn't hold it over your head, you could rest in this clean position. Okay, so that's it for the day. That's your kettlebell cardio conditioning. Thanks, have a great day.